Hello everybody. So in this video I'm going to show you a Microsoft Office version called Microsoft Office XP. Now as you can see I have Windows XP running on my test machine number two here and what this was is when Windows XP came out that was like oh that was the operating system to have so Microsoft started making um, add-ons for it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an installation video here so what I got here is the disk and the drive so we're going to launch it so now as always I'm going to have to enter The, so what you could do with this is I've only used this particular office program once in middle school and that was it. Um, you could do the default settings but I am going to do a complete install. We're going to do next. So just like regular Microsoft Office, which is basically what this is. You have Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Access, which is used for Outlook. Businesses use that. And you have Microsoft Front Page. Okay, so as I said, it's successfully installed. The easy access to shut the uh, the menu bar, I forget what they call that. Anyway, so if we go to start and we go to all programs, we're going to have Microsoft Office Tools. Product, Clip Organizer, Application Recovery, Microsoft Document Imaging, Microsoft Office Document Scanning, which means you can um, scan stuff in. Uh, this is your network. This is the photo editor. The shortcut bar. The, this was um, all the stuff that's there. So if I go over here, you have Microsoft Word.
There we go. Quit the bar. So as you can see, up here you have file, you have new, but when you do new in this, like the resume templates, like you do now, um, they probably won't have as much, but if I do general templates, you have publications, you have letters and faxes, you have mail merge, you have memos, you have other documents, and uh, so you have professional resume. So if I click on that, It comes up. Now there's only one that comes up on fortunately. So if I go to file and click new again, you have templates on the website, you have templates on Microsoft.com, meaning you can download. Download them. Now with Microsoft Office 2013, which is what I use. I forgot that the network card doesn't work. So if my network card was working with Windows XP, I could go on there and download it. But now they don't use this particular uh, version anymore in environments. So I'm going to exit out and we are going to go to that's Microsoft Outlook. What that is, that's your mail program. Uh, they still have it on there. I've never actually used front page, but let's see what it is. Oh, here we go. You could do page, folders, you could do hyperlinks. And stuff like that. Uh, what a hyperlink is, is it leads to uh, software. It's a direct link. And on the new ones, they have a front page as well. So if you go to Excel, that mainly stayed the same. Yeah, PowerPoint. You can insert charts, do all that, do what you got to do. It's the same thing. It's just that on the newer ones you get more stuff uh, when you buy it. Because you have to remember this was released back when Windows XP was the newest operating system. So if we go back to tools, you have a photo editor and all this stuff. This is why uh, people like using the uh, Microsoft Office XP. It had all sorts of stuff you could do with it. Uh, when and as I stated the, uh, I use Microsoft Office 2013 and it hasn't changed but certain things as I said have changed but it's mostly remained the same um, you could actually still use this if I save a Word document in this one I could open it in a newer version uh, PowerPoint I don't use much, Outlook I don't use, Microsoft Access I don't use. I mostly use Word, so I know a lot of stuff about Word, that's why. So, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.